Greetings, performance reviews, where I give you the reviews from the technician point of view. And today we're going to be doing an unboxing on a classic Henry. Now this is a Henry 200, which means he's the larger of the uh, variants, and they call him the original. Here is what's on the box. Uh, and this 9 kgs is not the actual weight of the machine. It is the weight of the box with all the accessories and stuff. You can see what's going to be included in the box. We have him again. And then just a quick, you know, kind of quick guide on the side of the box, which I think is useful. I show you where the parking position is and stuff like that. So let's get to it and open up this classic box. Now, these are glued together, so I'm gonna just real quick use a heat gun. Let's see what's inside. All right, so first off, a face guide. I'll show you that in a minute. And you don't have to put the face on them, as seen in the manual. The manual is just kind of pictures, a little spot for notes. Just kind of a quick guide, what's in there. There's not a lot in the manual. They show you where the model number is. Uh, and they show you some optional accessories, and that's about it before they switch languages. Um, now we got a manual. Uh, port and save these instruction. Household and commercial. Do not leave appliance plugged in. Servicing, do double insulate. That's interesting that they printed that separately. So there's that. Oh, there's his smiling face. Whole separate plastic piece. There are the accessories in here. There is the switchable, metal switchable floor tool. That's, uh, that's kind of cool. You don't see that every day. That is very similar to another brand that starts with the M. Um, do we have WW markings on here? Uh, yeah, it's definitely a Vissel work. Uh, especially that articulation, that's a super nice floor tool. Um, we have the tapered hose, which is nice. It's wider on one end than the other. So if you do get a blockage, you can find it real quick. Here we go. We got an extra bag, that's a nice touch. We have a wand with a suction control. We have a telescoping wand. Just a straight suction wand. The machine itself and an empty box. It's actually not that much bigger than the compact models. If you're curious what you get in the box, here is everything. You get the hose, three-piece wands, including a telescoping part. Uh, and this is suitable for somebody over six feet, as am I. You get that nice switchable floor tool, your dusting brush. You get this like upholstery, uh, larger dusting brush combo. And then a lot of people don't know these were have been available in the US for a while. It does have a US style plug, so no big worries there. And then the cord retracts that manual cord rewind, really nice. Now inside, just remove that. There's a soft rubber bumper around there. You get a thicker filter than you would get in, say, the UK models. This really helps with allergies and fine particulate. And then you have a bag pre-installed. Now the bags, if you're not familiar with them, they are very, very large. In fact, they're the reason for the size of this cleaner is the majority of the bulk on this cleaner is for the bag. So it is nice that you can just change the bag really easily and not have to worry about dust coming back in your face. And genuine bags are available uh, relatively inexpensive. So that's nice. That just goes on there. Then you just clip him back into place. In the rear, you have a parking position for your floor tool. And then you also have your crevice tool. Your upholstery tool goes right there and then the stub tube for that. So everything does store on board uh, and then your wand would just go in it like so. Now, if you're curmudgeon, you can leave the face off him, but where would the fun be? It's kind of nice to have Henry's face right there and he just kind of clips on like so. 
basically just like you would change the bag. That goes on like so. Then the hose just screws right in his nose for him to snort up all your dust and dirt. This has to be the easiest assembly of any vacuum on the market. Here's a good reference of the actual size of a 200 Henry next to a compact and next to just a standard canister. Give you an idea really how big they are. And just a quick note, one of the things you are getting with the full size Henry is the better style floor tool with the metal base plate, which will help him glide on carpet. And it's like a smidge bigger, not noticeably bigger. Let's see how much power a Henry 200 has. About 80 inches sealed and just above 50 working vacuum. Now, if you're not familiar with working vacuum, I do have a video on that explaining those numbers, but that is quite good. Let's see how Henry 200 does with our cat litter, flour, breakfast cereal, and fresh pet hair. Now, I do want to note we're going to be using just the standard floor tool right here. If you have a lot of wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, medium to low pile, you might consider looking at the Henry Extra model with a spinning brush. This does not have a spinning brush. So let's see how Henry does. So, no pet hair, no breakfast cereal, no flour. No cat litter. <laughs> that did very, very well, despite it not having a spinning brush. Now, if you have thick pile carpet, again, this is not the machine for you, uh, but low, medium pile carpet, and really any kind of area rug, this does very well on, typically. Well, most people are going to buy Henry to clean hard floors, so we have that same mess that flour, breakfast cereal, cat litter, and fresh pet hair. Let's see how it does, and we're going to be using this with the brushes down as it was intended. I think that speaks for itself. It does very well on hard floor. Now, a little bit of pet hair did get stuck to the lint pickers and the front bristles. That can be sucked off with the cleaner. Uh, you probably want to do that every few rooms or so. Well, I hope this has explained everything that comes in the box with the Henry 200 series to you. Any comments, leave them below. Uh, if you'd like to purchase one of these, I'll put links in the description to performancevacuumreviews.com and Amazon where you can purchase this that helps benefit the channel. Uh, if you want to talk about just vacuums in general, we have a Discord. I'll put a link below to that. And if you really like what we're doing, check out our vlog and some of our Patreon exclusive videos uh, over there. Again, links below. Thanks for watching and have yourself a wonderful day.